we're looking at perimeters of similar figures. We know that similar shapes have exactly the same shape but different sizes. And when we look at two similar figures, one shape can be thought of as an enlargement of the other. Now, these are both rectangles, but girls, all rectangles are not similar. The sides, the sides need to be in proportion. So, if we look at rectangle A and rectangle B, if you just look at that side that's two there, you can see that, sorry, if you see this side here, it's two, that side there is four. Um, the, so we've got the width, two, and this one's four. This, yep, yeah, one minute. Something's not right. Okay, you got it now? All right, girls, one sec. Is that big enough or no? I'll make it bigger. So, okay, the smaller triangle, the width is two. The larger triangle, the width is four. The smaller triangle, the, the length is four. The larger triangle, the length is eight. So therefore, you can just say rectangle B is how many times the size of rectangle A just by looking at it? Two. two. Okay, so it's two times the size. Now, what's the perimeter of rectangle A? Twelve centimetres. So we've got four plus four which is 6, and then another 6, which is 12 centimetres. And the perimeter of rectangle B? 24. So it's 8 plus 4 is 12, and another 12 makes 24 centimetres. Now, the ratio of the side lengths of shape A to shape B is you can just choose any two corresponding sides, like 2 and 4, or 4 and 8. We can say, I'm going to choose the smaller sides. Well, it's 2 is to 4. So again, ratio of side lengths from shape A to sh shape B, I'll just pick two, a, a pair of corresponding sides. So I can pick two and four or four and eight. So the ratio is two to four, or you could have put four to eight in there. And if we simplify that ratio by dividing them both by two, we get one is to two. In other words, shape B is two times the size of shape A. Now, the ratio of the perimeters is, what's the perimeter of shape A? 12, 12 to 24. Simplifying that ratio, dividing them, it's also 1 to 2. Shh, girls, are we okay with that? So when we look, if the ratio of the side lengths is 1 to 2, then the ratio of the perimeters is the same. Why? Because perimeter is just length. What you're going to find that when we do ratio of areas, you're going to get different results. And when we do ratio of surface areas later, you're going to get different results. So here, the ratio of the side lengths is 1 to 2. So is the ratio of the perimeters, because perimeter is just adding up the side lengths. Looking at investigation number two, triangle A is similar to triangle B. Now, if they're similar, it means that all the angles will be the same. Girls, I've drawn two what sorts of triangles? Three, four, five. That's a Pythagorean triad. So what sort of angle could I put? Good. And so is this one. And what do you think I did with my three, four, five? Did I double them, triple them? Okay. So threes become nine. 4 has become enlarged to 12, and 5 has become enlarged to 15. Shh. Triangle A is similar to triangle B. Triangle B is how many times? Three. Three times the size. What's the perimeter of triangle A? Twelve. Seven. Yeah, it's 12. twelve. And what's the... Thirty-six. The perimeter of triangle B is 21 and 15, 36 centimetres. Ladies, the ratio of the side lengths for triangle... Um, for shape A to B, you can do 3 is to 9, or 4 is to 12, or 5 is to 15. So I can do any of those three combinations. I might do 5 is to 15, but you could have done 3 to 9, or 4 with 12. So simplifying that ratio, dividing both of those by 5, I get 1 is to 3. We already know that it's 1 to 3, the ratio of the side lengths, because the larger triangle is 3 times bigger than the smaller one. Now, ratio of the perimeters is 12 to 36. Are we okay with that? And dividing them both by 12, what do you get? Now, girls, notice the ratio of the side lengths is the same as the ratio of the perimeters. Okay, we okay with that? All good? All right, we're going to go over the page now. And, girls, we're going to do the same for two circles, okay? So let's go. Circle A, girls, actually, all circles are similar. All circles, one, each, like if I took a circle and kept photocopying it and making it a bit smaller or making it larger, each circle would be similar because they're exactly the same shape. It's a circle but different sizes. Now, the ratio here is... All right, so circle A is similar to circle B, 
they have the, shape, the same shape but different sizes. Circle B is how many times the size of circle A? Yeah, it's 2.5, yeah. See, if it was four centimetre radius, it'd be double. If it was a six centimetre radius, it would be triple. Two times two and a half is five. Okay, girls, circumference now. Circumference of circle A, what's the formula? Just keep it in terms of pi. Two pi I, R, two pi so R. it's two pi R, which is two. So let's write circumference is two pi R. So it's two times pi times, what's the radius in the first two circle? Two, and just keep it in terms of pi. So what's that going to be in terms of pi? Girls, I just need to um, focus. So in terms of pi, it's 4 pi. Please don't work it out. Keep it as 4 times pi or 4 pi. The next circle, circumference of the circle, remember the formula is circumference is 2 pi r. So it's 2 times pi times 5. So in terms, just writing that in terms of pi, it's 10 pi. So the ratio of the radius or length, because the only length that you can measure for a circle is basically the radius or maybe the diameter or the circumference. I mean, you can't even measure that. You've got to use the formula for the circumference. The radii or any length that you can find would be what? Two to five. Ratio of circumferences we've got is four pi to ten pi. Now, I'm going to drop off the pies. You know, I can divide both by pi, which is 4 to 10. You okay with that? Yeah. I'm dividing both by pi, and now what can I divide both of those numbers by? They're even. So you can divide them both by 2. So the ratio of the circumferences is also 2 to 5. Girls, circumference is just like perimeter. It's called circumference because it's, that's the special name for a circle, but circumference is just perimeter. It's just measuring the length of the circle. So our conclusion here is for two similar shapes, if the ratio of the lengths is A to B, then the ratio of the perimeters is also A to B. In other words, ratio of the lengths will be the same as ratio of the perimeters. Why is that? Because perimeter is just measures length around the whole shape. Okay? And so the ratio remains the same. Similar shapes have exactly the same shape but different sizes. And one shape can be thought of as an enlargement of the other. Here, girls, we're looking at area of similar figures, not perimeter. Rectangle A, we can see, is similar to rectangle B. You can see that rectangle B is how many times the size? No, it's two times the size. Girl, girls, looking at rectangle B, A and B, shh. The, the width is 2 and the width here is 4, so it's been doubled. The, the length here is 4 and the length here is 8, so rectangle B is 2 times the size of rectangle A. All right, can I have the area of rectangle A, please? So it's 4 times 2, which is 8 centimetres squared. Can I have the area of rectangle B, please? 4 times 8, which is 32 centimetres squared. So the ratio of the side lengths for shape A, I don't mind which sides you choose. You can do 2 to 4 or 4 to 8, as long as they're matching or corresponding sides. What's the ratio of the side lengths? Yes. Whether you did 2 to 4 or 4 to 8, you can, with this one, you can divide them both by 2 and we get the ratio of the side lengths is 1 is to 2. Because when I look at two sides that match, ratio of side lengths. Now... Girls, the ratio of the areas. What's the area of shape A? Eight. Eight. What's the ratio of shape B? Eight. Now, can you simplify those ratios? What can you divide? So it's one to four. Now, notice I've got a third space. And the reason I've got the third space, as I was saying, the reason I've got the third space, I want to write that one to four another way. I want, it to write, I want to write it as one is, is two. 2 to the power of 2. 2. Okay? So what's happened is the ratio of the side lengths is 1 to 2, but the ratio of the areas, actually, I'm going to write it as 1 squared is to 2 squared. What's happened is that the ratio of the areas is 1 to 4, but writing those, they're both square numbers, and it's 1 squared to 2 squared. So what's really happened with these lengths? They've both been squared. Now let's see if this happens with our next two shapes. Okay? 
So this is what the last space is here for. I want both those being written as squared numbers. Are we okay with this, girls? Yes. So please write it as one squared to two squared there. You'll see why I'm doing that as we go along. Now, doing the same here, and we've chosen right angle triangles for a reason because you can find their area easily. So let's have a look. Triangle A is similar to triangle B. We saw these triangles before. How many, triangle B is how many times the size? Three, because look, three becomes nine. Four becomes 12, five becomes 15. It's enlarged to 15. So the triangle B is three times larger. What's the area of triangle A? What's the formula? Um, half, half. So we know the formula area is a half BH. So it's half times, what's the base? Four. What's the height? As long as the base and the height are at right angles to each other, what do we get there? Six. Six centimetres squared. Let's look at the second triangle. Area is a half of nine times 12. Now, ladies, ladies, if you want to do this without a calculator, you can. You can multiply in any order. A half of 12 is 6. 6 times 9 is 54. So the ratio of areas is 54 centimetres. Sorry. The area is 54 centimetres squared. So what's the ratio of the side lengths? Let's just choose side lengths, any two corresponding sides. We can do 3 with 9. So the ratio of the side lengths is 3 is to 9, which is? 1 is to 3. In other words, the second triangle is 3 times bigger than the first. But the ratio of the areas is 6 to 54. Now simplifying 6 to 54, we get 1 to 9. Now how can you write them? 1 is 1 squared. So can you see what's happened with the, with the side lengths? They've both been squared. And you know how area is always squared units? It makes sense. That, okay, so 1 squared to 3 squared. All right, we're going to go over the page now and do the same with circles, the same two circles as before, but this time we're going to work out their areas. So, circle A is similar to circle B. They're different sizes. Circle B is how many times the size of circle A? Two and a half. 2.5 times the size. So, let's work out the area of each circle. Formula for area is pi r squared. So it's pi times 2 squared. Please just keep it in terms of pi. So what's 2 squared? So area of this one would be what? Good. And the other circle, area is pi times r squared or pi times 5 squared. All right, what's the area of this one? Now, what's the ratio of any lengths? Just... The only length you can measure yeah, for the circle is the radius. Oh, I see what's happening. What are the areas? <laughs> 4 pi? Seven times. <laughs> so the ratio of the areas is 4 pi is to? Sorry, 4 pi. What's the area of the other one? 25, 25 pi. I can drop off the pies. So I can divide both by pi and I get 4 to 25. Now, ladies, this one's slightly different. 4 is what squared? 2. And five, 25 is? 5 squared. So notice that the 2 and the 5 just got squared. So the ratio of the lengths is 2 to 5. So girls, if you double the side lengths, you don't double the area. You square. The area is side lengths. The ratio of the side lengths squared. So if the ratio of the side lengths is 2 to 5, the ratio of the areas is 2 squared is to 5 squared. What do you think the ratio of the volumes would be if they were spheres? 2 cubed. If it was volumes, it'd be cubed. If it's area, the ratio is squared. If it's perimeter, the ratio stays the same. So girls, in conclusion, girls, for two similar shapes, if the ratio of the lengths is A to B, the ratio of the areas is A squared to B squared. Now, shh, we're just going to quickly do... Um, I'll just pause for a sec. It's surface area of similar solids. Now, surface area is just area, but it's area of all the faces added together. So, you know how the ratio of the areas was A squared to B squared? It should be the same for this as well, because surface area is just area. Okay? So, cube A is similar to cube B. The cube B has side lengths how many times bigger than the size? So, two times bigger. 
Now, how do we work out the surface area of a cube? So it's six faces which are the same, and what's the area of one face? It's four. Shh, girls, six times two squared. Ladies, isn't the area of one face two times two, which is four? So, and there are six faces that look exactly the same as that. So it's six times four. Does that make sense? Six times four. Girls, I wouldn't learn the for, for surface area. I never learn. I don't learn formulas for triangles or you've just got to remember that you've got six faces. It's just find the area of each face, surface area, and add them together. The, there are a few formulas. Yes, you, yeah, for a cube you can just find the area of one face, which is this one, and then times it by six because there's six identical faces. So it's six times four, which is 24 centimetres squared. Girls, now the surface area of cube B, we've got six faces that are the same as the area of this face here that I'm shading. So I've got six times, what's the area of one face? Four squared. Four squared. Now four squared is 16. 16 times six is? Is it 96? Okay, so the ratio of side lengths, just choose any two corresponding sides. What's the ratio of the side lengths? Two to four, which happens to be one is to two. In other words, girls, the the big cube, cube B is double the size of cube A, but the ratio of the surface areas is 24 to 96. What can you divide both those numbers by? Six. Eight. What's 24 and 24? Oh, yeah, on your calculator, you just go 24 ABC 96 equals, and you'll get one to four. Girls, 24 and 24 is 48, and 48 and 48 is 96. Girls, or, girls, 25 times 4 is 100. 24 times 4 will be 96. Okay, how can I write 1 to 4? 1 squared to 2 squared. Girls, shh. The surface area of a cylinder is to find the area of each face and add them together. So a cylinder, girls, is made up of two circular faces. Formula for the sorry for the surface area of a cylinder. You've got the two circular faces, one on top and one on the bottom. So area of one face, area of one face is pi r squared. So the two faces are two lots of pi r squared plus the curved bit is the circumference of the top. See, girls, because if you just look here, do you remember it? Here is, you, you want this, sorry, that's someone that was late, Anna Marie. Okay, girls, watch. If, if this is a circle up here, what's this length up here called? Circumference. Circumference. This is 2 pi r. And look, girls, and this is my cylinder, and that's the height down there. No. It's 2, two, two pi r h. So it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Girls, the reason I'm not just giving you the formula is because if you understand where the formula comes from, you'll actually hopefully remember it. So surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So it's 2 pi times. Now what's the radius of this cylinder here? 1 squared plus 2 times pi, I'm just going to write here, the radius is 1, the height is 2, 2 times pi times, what do I write here? 1 times 2, not yet, 2 pi times 1 squared plus 2 pi times 1 times 2. Now what's 2 times pi times 1 squared equal to? 2 pi times 1, 2 pi plus... What's 2 times pi times 1 times 2? Four Multiply pi. the numbers, it's 4 pi. So the surface area is 6 pi. Now looking at the second cylinder, it's 2 pi times, the radius of this is 3, the height is 6. Now something I didn't do, girls, is how many times up here, cylinder B has dimensions that are how many times bigger? Yeah, the radius has been multiplied by 3 and so has the height. So it's 3 times bigger. So the surface area of cylinder B is 2 times pi times 3 squared plus
plus 2 times pi times r is 3 and h is 6. Which is 9, 3 squared is 9, 18 pi plus, what's some, um, yeah, because 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 6 is 36, we've got 36 pi, 36 and 18 is 54 pi. So, ratio of the side lengths, please. What's the ratio of the side lengths? Or 1 to 3, it doesn't matter. So if I choose the height to compare, the ratio of the side lengths would be 2 to 6 or 1 to 3. And the ratio of the surface areas is 6 pi to 54 pi. Drop off the pies, 6 to 54, actually, which is 1 to 9. I'll just put that underneath it, 1 to 9. Which is 1 squared. Which is 1 squared to 3 squared. Three squared. Girls, instead of writing 6 to 54 there, put it straight as 1 to 9, which happens to be 1 squared is to 3 squared. Girls, did you see what's happened to the, to the surface area? What's happened? If the side lengths is, are 1 to 3, then the ratio of the surface areas is 1 squared to 3 squared. Now, I'm going to do some examples. I'm not doing the back of the page because I think we're going to run out of time for examples. Are in the ratio of... So the ratio of the perimeters of two regular do decagons are 6 to 5. Now, girls, the question is? In what ratio are the corresponding areas? All right, so the ratio is if the ratio of the perimeters of two decagons is 6 to 5, what is the ratio of the areas? So you can write, this is your working out, the ratio of the perimeters is 6 to 5. Aren't perimeters just side lengths? Like, aren't they the addition of all the side lengths? So when you're doing these sorts of problems, I want... Ratio of side lengths is this, therefore ratio of areas is that. Okay, so I'm writing a separate line that therefore the ratio of the lengths will be 6 to 5 because perimeter is just a length. So therefore the ratio of the areas is 6 squared to 5 squared, which is 36 to 25. Okay, in the second question it says if the ratio of the areas of... Can someone read the question out? Can you go back to the if the ratio of the are in ratio I can try. One sec. Well, I'll just bring it down, but here's question two. Question two says the areas of two kites are in the ratio of 9 to 16. In what? So we're doing 2B. The areas of two kites are in the ratio of 9 to 16. In what ratio are the corresponding perimeters? Well, I've gone ratio of areas is... Wait, I'll just... Can I move the first question up now? Like, can I move it? Yeah. So, I'll just put it like that. Questions down here. Ratio of areas is 9 to 16. Girls, I want you to then express that as two square numbers. Makes, the, makes it easier, which happens to be 3 squared is to 4 squared. So what would, therefore, the ratio of any side length be? 3 to 4. Perimeter is a side length thing. So, therefore, the ratio of the perimeters is also 3 to 4. Does that make sense? Okay. Girls, that's question two. We're going to choose some other questions. All right, we're going to do question question 3A. Here it is. You can write it out. There it is. One sec. Okay, if you could please copy this question out. The figures in each pair below are similar, so you've got two rhombuses. Um, the side length of the larger one is eight. side length of the smaller rhombus is five. The area of the larger rhombus is 128 centimetres. I've summarised that information over here and you have to find the area of the smaller rhombus. Now, to do this, you can write um, your information out like this. And remember, it's all about ratios. So ratio of the side lengths is what? Girls, we've got a complete set of side lengths. So that's what you start with. It's 8 to 5. Therefore... What is the ratio of the areas? No, it's not. 8 squared is to 5 squared. So the ratio of the areas is 8 squared to 5 squared, which is 64 is to 25. Now, I'm going to set up an equation. What Now, we know that the ratio of the areas should be 64 to 25. Now, you see how this is your unknown here? I'm going to go area is x. Okay? 
so I want x, so I'm going to put, I'm going to set up an equation. So x over 128, remember ratios can be written as fractions. So x over 128 is equal to what over what? Ratio of the areas. Yeah, so I'm doing this side over this one. I'm going from right to left. I need from right to left is equal to 25 over 64. Does this make sense? So that over that equals that over that. So x is 25 over 64 times 128, which is? Yeah, 50. 50 centimetres squared. So therefore, the area of the last one is 50 centimetres squared. Girls, the other thing you can do, see how the ratio is 64 to 25? Have you noticed that the 128 is double the 64? So the area here should be double the 25. Okay, um, I'm just going to pause that and I'm going to find another question. You've got four minutes, Miss. Let's go and go pump this out. Sorry. Shh. What I'm... Shh, girls. We'll just do area and... No, one minute. Okay. Shh. All right. I need to do one more example and then I'll give you homework. All right, stop. So far the homework is... Quite, the rest of question two, um, we'll just choose another few questions in question three. Have you got all that down? Yeah, I'm doing one more example. Which question is Girls, we've done stuff like, all right, what did I do where we're given the area? I'm doing question 4C, that's it. No, I'm doing, shh, I'm doing question 4D. No, 4B, I think you can copy that one out, 4B. Question 4B, there it is. Girls, just draw the diagram. Draw that you've got D and 22, areas 54, areas 726. Don't, obviously you have to find the side length, don't you? You have to find D. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm finishing this example, girls. So we've got D, 4D, and we've got 22. Please just write that. Girls, just, um, you can't see what I'm doing, but just don't write the question out. Just put find D the, and for these similar figures. So the area of the small one is 54 and the area of the large one is 726. Now, yeah, I want B. Didn't I say B? All right, no, I'll do it now. Shh, girls, are you ready? Here we go. So girls, can you see that that's the same? Can I just do it? Girls, shh, okay. But girls, you start with the complete set that you've got. So we've got ratio of areas is 54, please stop talking, to 726. Now they happen to be both square numbers, but what I would do, which is something squared is to, well, got a bit of a problem here. The numbers aren't very nice. Well, it's not a square number. Both divisible by three. Yeah. Both divisible by three. All right. So divide them both by. No, divide them both by six, and you get nine is two. Can you do seven twenty six divided by six? One twenty nine. Have you done seven twenty six divided by six? One twenty. Good. So that's three squared is two. Eleven squared. So if that's the ratio of areas, therefore the ratio of the side lengths or any lengths, just put lengths, is what? 3 to 11. Three to 11. So therefore, you start with your unknown. D over 22, their ratio of lengths, is equal to what? Left to right equals 3 over 11. So therefore, D is 3 over 11 times 22. Girls, you can see it's been doubled. You'll get 6. So you'll get six. Girls, the important thing here was to simplify the fraction so that you can see two square numbers. The important thing here is simplify that until you get two squared numbers. Does that make sense? Then you write nine and 121 as three squared and 11 squared. Your homework is, and I'll just put it up now. Don't tell me I lost it. I need the book. Girls, the homework is um, exercise 11.5. 
five. Question two, C, C and D. Can you choose? Um, do the do some questions in question three, and some questions and three questions from question four. Can I get rid of this page? Wait a minute. Where am I? Can I email you with the homework? Um, I'll do it like... I will email you the homework from 11.5. But... I reckon girls 3B, D and F. 3B, D and F. 4A, C and E. And then 5 through to 9, I might send you a video.